Don't get close to this block, or else it can crash your game. And here are 42 illegal Minecraft secrets you didn't know. Did you know you can face through walls? All you need is a boat. First, place the boat against the corner of a wall like this, and exit it, and you'll glitch to the other side. Do you hate getting mining fatigue from ocean monuments? Well, instead, you should bring an axolotl. These guys will have fight guardians for you, and they give you regeneration. And they will also get rid of mining fatigue. Desert temples have a secret you didn't expect. No, I'm not talking about the treasure in the middle, but if you look at the top part, it has a pretty familiar shape. If you don't know, you can actually fit a full beak in here. If you're a scaredy cat, there's actually a way to get the elytra without defeating the ender dragon. In version 1.20, if you push yourself with a piston underneath the end portal, you'll get teleported to the outer end islands. But make sure you have pearls or slow falling in case you spawn above the void. You've probably seen those TikToks of someone casually playing minecraft and all of a sudden they eat a random item well they aren't using a mod but if you use this command you can eat any item in minecraft it even works for tnt if you look at villagers they have some pretty fine clothes so how did they get these clothes well when redesigning villagers for the 1.14 update the villagers clothes are inspired by 2018 gucci models i guess villagers have better fashion sense than me parrots are better pets than you think parrots will actually imitate the sounds of nearby mobs such as creepers this is pretty useful for bedrock players since we don't have the subtitles feature. You probably know if you kill a mob with a charged creeper, they'll drop their head. But if you wear the mob's head, it will actually cut the mob's detection range into half. If you're collecting leaves with shears, you should stop. Instead, you should use a hoe. Hoes are just way faster than shears and have more durability. Look at this illegal item stack. In version 1.14.3, by using this command, you can spawn an armor stand holding item stacks above 64. But there's also a way to get negative items. In version 1.8, by setting up this contraption, then igniting the TNT and spamming 1 on your keyboard, you can get this item with a stack of 0. But to make it negative, is put it in a dispenser. If you're building your crop farms like this, you're doing it wrong. Instead, you should add alternating rows with two different crops. This makes both crops grow way faster. Fireworks with the elytra is pretty good, but you should try using slow falling arrows. By shooting yourself with the arrow and using a riptide trident, you can launch up insanely high with the elytra, but you should still use fireworks if you want to go further. This goat might seem like it's in danger, but he's not. Goats are actually the only mobs that are fully capable of doing parkour. I guess goats are better than me at parkour. Ender pearls are now the fastest way to travel. In the latest snapshot, ender pearls will now teleport you between two dimensions. So by making another portal in the nether that links to the overworld, you can travel hundreds of blocks in literal seconds. If you ever see this block in your server, don't go close to it because it can crash your server. This is a lag machine that is created by throwing XP bottles on redstone on ore but if you want to counter it just turn particles to minimal other than getting mob heads charge creepers have a pretty useful secret the aura around the charge creeper can be used for x-raying in water it even works with ice and slime blocks but this might be hard to use in survival i actually don't have any armor on but how do i have full armor points by using these two commands you can give yourself armor points equivalent to full netherite armor and it actually reduces the damage you take wanna turn your boat into a machine gun all you need is a snow golem and they'll shoot at nearby mobs in the boat but by attaching a bunch of boats to leads you can get a whole army protecting you Enderman never used to have purple eyes. When they were added in the 1.8 pre-release, they actually had green eyes instead and dropped diamonds as a placeholder. In the latest snapshot, we got faster minecarts. And by using a new game rule command, minecarts can now go at a maximum speed of 1000, allowing you to launch villagers into outer space. You shouldn't use a sword to kill piglin brutes. Instead, you should use a lava bucket. Because even with gold armor, attacking brutes will also provoke nearby piglins so by killing a brute with lava the piglins won't care this is because dying to lava is considered an environmental death jeb's name is actually hidden in minecraft if you look at the guardian's texture from snapshot 14w25a the file shows jeb's name on the texture but you can't see this in game because it is written on an invisible area small drip leaf used to be the strongest minecraft plant in snapshot 21w05a by bone 
accumulating a drip leaf, it could break rocks like obsidian and even bedrock, but somehow it can't hold a feather. We can't place stuff like rails on chests because they aren't full blocks, but there was a way to place rails on them. In beta 1.8, you were actually able to place stuff like rails and redstone dust on chests. We have ender pearls and we also have ice pearls. Well, these are actually ice bombs that are only in the education edition. This is created by combining four sodium acetate in a lab table and when thrown it'll freeze water into ice on contact requiring a diamond to craft a jukebox seems kind of stupid but there's a reason why mojang actually said that their jukeboxes were inspired by phonographs which had a diamond needle dragging on a disc that produced music obsidian might seem like it's immune to tnt but this is due to it having a higher blast resistance than the blast force of tnt so if we go back to version 1.10 you can summon a fireball with an explosion force of 1200 which is enough to destroy obsidian when villagers get scared they can reach some high speeds with that combined with fighting a raid you can't realize this small detail but if you look closely villagers will actually start sweating during raids speaking about raids you've probably experienced almost finishing a raid but you can't find the last raider well this is where the bell comes in clutch by ringing the bell it will outline raiders within 32 blocks for a few seconds some mobs in minecraft actually have real names according to notch ender dragon's real name is gene according to minecraft warden's real name is william not gonna lie they should have added the name tag easter egg snow golems are one of the mobs that can't spawn naturally but there used to be a way for them to spawn naturally in version 1.12.2 carved pumpkins could generated naturally so if one generated next to two snow blocks a snow golem will spawn making this a one in five trillion event Volkers turning blue sheep into red sheep seems like a pretty odd feature. Well, this is actually a reference to the game Age of Empires, where the priest had an ability to convert enemy units into friendly units. We all know if the wither reaches half health, it becomes immune to projectiles, but that isn't the case for fireworks. By using fireworks with a crossbow, the wither will still get damaged at its second stage. Bedrock and Java have their own differences, but Bedrock used to have a really odd feature. In version 1.6, old nuggets could have been used as a fuel source for furnaces it was really trash at smelting the reason polar bears were added is pretty wholesome since minecraft didn't have any bears jeb's wife suggested adding one because she liked bears so jeb said he'll add one if they had a bear of their own which actually happened when his son was born who was named bjorn which is swedish for bear you can actually tame the ender dragon in the 2022 april fools update Mojang removed the inventory, allowing you to have hands to pick up blocks and mobs. And if you manage to build an end portal from looting nether fortress chests, you can ride the ender dragon. Did you know there could have been more uses to copper? In the 1.18.30.26 bedrock beta, they added copper goat horns which had their unique sounds. But sadly this feature was instantly scrapped. But the good thing is that we got new copper blocks in the 1.21 update. Furnaces will eat up coal really quickly but there's a way to get infinite fuel by setting up this simple machine with sticky pistons slime blocks and observers you make a carpet duper for infinite fuel you probably know you can't place water in the nether but there actually used to be a way to place water in snapshot 21w03a by placing glow lichen and lava it will convert into water but this sadly was a glitch nowadays we have redstone dust and glowstone dust but there's also a third dust the 1.14 update trailer a villager can be spotted throwing some kind of blue dust this could have been added as underwater redstone but it was never added other than iron golems murdering villagers they also have a wholesome side iron golems have a chance to hold out flowers to villagers this is a reference to the movie castle in the sky where an ancient robot gives a flower to these kids but sadly the villagers never accept their gift here's how to turn your bubble elevator into a death trap you've probably heard of ender pro stasis chambers well if if we build a similar contraption to that, but replace the ender pearl with instant harming arrows, the next person who uses the elevator will be instantly dead. Want to know if 10,000 end crystals can kill a warden? Watch this video to see 40 Minecraft experiments.